54, 55. Degeneracy has come way too far in our society. And I'm sitting down earlier, and I'm on my phone, and I'm scrolling through YouTube. And I see a video from a conservative channel. Um, and it's got some clip of Donald Trump. And in this clip, he's talking about how he'll protect homosexuality. Which is one of the few things that Trump has done, which I don't like, is cater to the homosexuals a bit. But besides the point, it was like this clip where you had Trump there and he's like, like, oh, I'll cater to homosexuality. And then you also had another clip of Joe Biden. And basically what he said was, um, it was like a clip from many years ago and also Obama too, where they were talking about how they didn't support homosexuality and how they thought, they thought it was gross or whatever, right? traditional truthful way a man or any logical person would view homosexuality from from Biden and Obama in the past right well the point of this video was to say that I guess Trump is there is the real protector of homosexuality and it just made me think like what what is going on how, how are you do how do you expect to preserve dignity if you're just going to openly be okay with homosexuality and it's very easy to notice that within our society, women, but even the men, are afraid to condemn or come against homosexuality. It's like the number one sin that you cannot criticize or come against. Because people are afraid of the homosexuals calling them homophobic. And they're also afraid of, I don't know, just seeming evil or whatever, right? But the thing, it, it's, it's something that needs to stop because the thing is, we are in a spiritual war and when you concede morality when you concede that you are not going to stand against evil that you will not even assert that evil is wrong then you're quite literally giving points to Satan because whether you like it or not we are created by God and on this earth you will have a choice to either speak the truth and go against evil or cater and be wishy-washy about morality, be wishy-washy about the truth, and, you know, it's, it's, it's bad many reasons, number one, it goes against God, that's the intuitive reason, uh, number two, it makes you become a, uh, well, what's the word, kind of like a, a prisoner, I guess you could say, because when you let evil or say homosexuality become the norm is something that you cannot speak against automatically what does that mean that means you are going to have to shut your mouth um, even if you know it's wrong and you are going to be the bad guy you're gonna be evil you'll be a Nazi if you come against homosexuality and it also hurts the homosexuals themselves which is the one thing that I think is it's it's kind of ironic because when you assert that homosexuality is wrong it's like you notice homosexual people get extremely offended. They're like all, you know, reactive about it, right? Which I think is also ironic because let's say theoretically that homosexuality wasn't wrong, that uh, atheism was true, and Christianity and, and religion is just stupid and made up, right? Well, first of all, you can't justify morality that way. But second of all, if it really was okay to be gay, to participate in this unnatural, and unnatural in a spiritual way, I'm not talking about evolutionary or something, but if it really was okay to participate in this unnatural thing, why would you be offended if someone were to come against it? Like, think about, um, for comparison, just being straight, right? If someone comes up to me and is like, uh, hey, uh, being straight is wrong, it's disgusting, it's degenerate, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Would it make sense for me to be like, what, oh my gosh, and be all reactive and be offended? No, not really. That's probably not what would happen. And yeah, theoretically it could happen. But my point is, my point is that it's kind of intuitive that since homosexuals also have a conscience, they may intellectually convince themselves that it's okay, but they have an intuitive response to where when you point out this thing is wrong, they get uh, offended or uncomfortable or whatnot. 
So it's, it's kind of a self-proving degeneracy. And I guess you could maybe say that about all immoral things, right? But it's like, well, if there's nothing wrong with it, why, why would you be so offended when I say there's something is wrong with it? But what makes it even worse for me, and, you know, homosexuality has become normal uh, increasingly over the past, like, decade or so, or whatever, or decades, right? Because degeneracy has to rise up slowly on a slope. But what's unfortunate to me is seeing a lot of Christian people, a lot of people who claim to be conservative, uh, too afraid to come against homosexuality. And it's like, well, if, if the, the people who are supposed to be in the front lines of defending God, defending dignity and morality, aren't going to come against it, then you've already lost, you've already conceded. Like, um, like when you see Christians, like, uh, I, I was watching something with Elisha Schaefer, and Nick Fuentes was commentating on it, but this is just an example, and he was saying, like, well, you do kind of come off as homophobic, Elijah Schaefer, by the way, he was saying you do kind of come off as homophobic if you focus on homosexuality as an issue, and it's like, well, if, if we're going to give into that kind of energy as Christians, what do you think is going to happen to us? Inevitably, you're going to be kind of neutered in a sense, uh, t your morality is going to be completely ostracized from the society, and you could literally concede the virtue that you have in telling the truth and being honest with people. And it's like, it's really bad to see in the conservative, uh, I guess, mainstream content creators, whatever, who are like, oh, well, actually, uh, in, in the political realm, well, Trump is the good guy because he defends homosexuality. And it's like, well, do, do you think that's a good thing? I mean... You're, you'll you'll compromise. You know what I mean. You'll compromise points to get people to like Trump over uh, morality. Makes no sense at all. And it's like, what do you think is going to be the outcome of these homosexuals who spend their whole lives? The the normie people, um, on the one hand, are always telling them that homosexuality is okay. If you make up fake genders for yourself, I will call you that. Blah blah blah, etc. And then it's like you look at the Christian people. And it's almost like they're no different. They're afraid to come against homosexuality. They're afraid to speak out against it. They're always putting butts and what ifs. If they do speak out against it, I'm not homophobic, but blah, 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 blah. Always putting these disclaimers and just being very wishy-washy, like waving around the, the reality of this. And it's just, it's not right. It's, it's very intuitive. You really... When I say this, I'm not saying uh, that Christianity is just an opinion, because I know it's true, but you really don't even have to be a Christian person to see that homosexuality is wrong, because it's just so intuitive. You have the natural order of man and woman. They're like two puzzle pieces that go together. I mean, you could intellectualize it, explain it in more depth, but it's, it's really quite intuitive. And the thing about the homosexuals is, is they have been convinced to esteem their uh, lifestyle or their sin or whatever you want to call it because I know some of them don't like they would be like oh it's not a lifestyle whatever that's just semantics right but um they've been convinced um even some of them claim to be Christian or believe in God they've been convinced to put their degeneracy over God in other words they would rather burn in hell quite literally than to let go of their homosexuality and it's a very sad thing, and when you're in a, a war against evil, as we all are, being humans in this fallen world, you have to speak the truth, and by speaking the truth, you're automatically going to win more points in the ultimate game of people going to hell versus going to heaven, and people serving God versus people serving Satan, so... By being afraid to speak the truth about anything, really, or specifically homosexuality, which is a, a big one, um, you're, you're number one, you're compromising yourself because then you're, you're become the, the villain and the bad guy when you say that homosexuality is wrong. Number two, the homosexuals, they, they've got no one to help them because they, they, they're just being surrounded by people who instill in their brain that it's okay and no, one, no one's honest enough with them to tell them that it's wrong. 
well, not, I don't want to say no one, but most people, most people aren't, right? Or people who know it's wrong are scared to. But and um, another thing, that's another thing that's ironic is like people who defend homosexuality have this sentiment in their head where they think that they they love homosexual homosexuals or uh, whatever LGBT people and that they care for them and they're really out for them they're allies and but that's that's quite a deception because really if you're telling people the truth and you're telling them hey you got to stop this activity this is against your creator god really you would be on their side and that's not uh me making something up that's just intuitively uh the reality of it and you're not helping people by patting them on the back for their degeneracy it is better to offend someone and tell them the truth so that they can be saved from their their uh, degeneracy or whatever situation than it is to well, maybe I worded that wrong it's better to make someone offend someone and be honest with them than to lie to someone and comfort them is what I meant to say uh, but yeah mainly I mean that's just a general that's just a general rejection of homosexuality what I just went on about for 11 minutes but the main the main point I wanted to kind of articulate was that um, as conservatives and Christians you're going to be destroyed if you keep peddling homosexuality if you keep catering to it and you keep up with this rhetoric that it should be should not be of your concern of uh, people's sexuality and especially with conservatives because as as the political climate gets more uh, intense, I guess you could say, and more apolitical um, people start to pay attention, people are going to start to develop their ideas of how to interpret things and what's acceptable and what's not. And if you are claiming to be conservative and you want to be uh, a Christian people that has influence in the political realm, you are committing suicide. Not, not only are you committing suicide, but you're dishonoring God when you allow homosexuality because it's really the simple concept of wolf and sheep skin meaning if you say hey you can be a conservative homosexual right a conservative is a christian a conservative is a person who wants to preserve dignity who wants to preserve common sense and you know many people would say well conservatism isn't necessarily christian well it might as well be 90 percent of the people who concerning themselves conservatives are in this country are christian and that's not that's not a stat I, I looked up. That's just kind of intuitive. But my point is that um, if you allow this into what you would call the conservative movement, which is homosexuality, inevitably, even uh, inevitably, I started on that. You're going to come to a point where it's going to be ostracized and out of the norm to reject homosexuality so you give you give evil you give something that is against your cause an inch and it is going to take a mile and mark my words if these conservative figures who are afraid to come against homosexuality or just anything that is counter to what you would call conservatism give it like a uh, 70 years and see what uh, conservatism is and this goes for just Christianity itself too outside of a political context give it 70 years and see what your uh, new qualities are for what you call Christianity or conservatism so if there's like a checklist of everything that makes up those things the things that you would want to preserve um, they're gonna be marked off slowly as you allow people to identify with the ideology if that makes sense but anyways, I just wanted to talk about that because that was something that was on my mind. And it's really unfortunate to see that so many people are afraid to speak the truth to people. And it's, it's unfortunate to see that so many people would rather not offend people and preserve people's feelings than uh, speak the truth and maybe ruffle their feathers a bit, you know. But yeah, that was just something that was on my mind that I wanted to talk about quickly. And uh, if you sat through and watched this whole thing, I thank you for it. And, uh, yeah.
Have a wonderful time.